Welcome. As I was setting this up to record, I actually got distracted by my thoughts, which is funny since I'm recording this to help other people try to recognize being lost and distracted by your thoughts. What I want to do here is give a little insight on my own experiences with dipping my feet into the pool of meditation. I'm going to attempt a short guided meditation after I share some of these thoughts and experiences with you. I don't know how it will turn out, but I really just want to try and help others get a better handle on what goes on in their head, just like I've been able to do recently. I've been dabbling in meditation and mindfulness for several months now, and only more recently have been able to stay more consistently mindful. But as I mentioned already, I still get distracted and my thoughts still get caught in the wind. That's always going to happen. It's just a matter of noticing it happening and being able to lasso your attention. When meditating, I've had some really unfruitful sessions, to be honest. Very discouraging and seemingly a waste of time when you don't have a ton of time to dedicate to the practice to begin with. Then again, I've had some completely effortless and amazing sessions that caused serious emotional response. I've had tears start flowing many times for no specific reason other than feeling an overwhelmingly welcoming feeling in my consciousness. Overwhelmingly welcoming. Anyway, just the thought of having a thought that can cause physical response sounds a little goofy, but it's definitely a thing. Try and think about the last time you were upset at something or someone. The kind of upset that puts you in a quote-unquote bad mood and causes you to interact with others unlike you normally would when you're in a good mood. This moment could have been three weeks ago or yesterday or right before listening to this recording or whatever. When you find that memory, try to take a step back and freeze frame it so you can maybe see it from someone else's point of view. Like someone else in the room observing you losing control of your emotions. Or maybe picture yourself as that other person witnessing someone else lose control. What thoughts go through your head when you see someone else upset or unable to hold it together? Do you have pity? Or do you cast judgment? Can you empathize? Now, I'm not trying to hint that others' perception of you has to be one way or another, or that it even really matters. It's merely a way to try and flip the scene around so you can self-reflect in a way that could shed more light on what kind of energy you put out to everyone around you. In those moments when you get upset, how long do you really need to stay upset? How long are you compelled to hold on to that exhausting feeling? Dwelling on the past and worrying about the future is pretty rough on the mind. It's like a computer program constantly running in the background, just taking up space and causing your current project to run slowly and inefficiently. You need to debug your software. I'm not saying I know what I'm doing or what I'm saying or that I can certainly help you. I'm just speaking from my own experience and trying to help others since I wish I knew and felt all of this many years ago. Mindfulness has helped me with personal relationships at home, at work, and just with overall happiness. I still get sad and mad and scared and whatever else that comes up in daily life, but not many things stick with me more than I want them to anymore. I'm much more capable of letting go of anger and negative responses quicker than ever, which helps in two ways. One, I don't stay in a bad mood or stay irritated for very long at all. And two, when I realize I'm consciously not staying angry, it makes me happy with myself for not being angry anymore. It's a win-win. So, that brings us to meditation. 
I'm going to start here with an example of how I have visually seen my thoughts in my head before during a meditation. This is a little confusing, so hold on here. One evening, I was meditating in the shower and had a breakthrough moment. I was trying to focus on my breath and trying to push away thoughts that were constantly coming in. Then everything seemed to darken like I was closing my eyes, but my eyes were already closed. Then in my head, I opened my eyes to what seemed like I was just dropped into a thick green soup that was just light enough for me to see in front of me. But I wasn't me. I wasn't seeing through my own eyes. It was almost as if I was observing from 10 feet behind me and slightly above myself, watching my physical self swim through this strange liquid. Then as I swam forward, it's like the observation point fused with the physical me swimming in the green goo, and then I started closely seeing large bubbles coming into focus around me, like the size of volleyballs just floating around in this stuff with me. They seemed to be coming towards me, but it was also me floating towards them. A quick and random light bulb moment went off somewhere, and I just knew that those bubbles were thoughts. Bubbles of thoughts floating around me as far as the eye could see through this weird green ocean thing. But just as soon as I made that connection, I was launched back into reality in my shower like I was transported back to another world or something. That whole moment couldn't have lasted more than 10 seconds, but it was one of the coolest and most mentally motivating experiences I've had with meditation. I don't really know if any of that made sense at all to you, but that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, now let's try a little guided meditation for a few minutes. I'm going to slowly raise the volume of a theta wave. I think that's how you say it. Theta. To see if this can uh, possibly help cancel out any small distractions. Theta waves are typically somewhere around 4 to 7 hertz and can help with relaxation and it's been associated with promoting brain activity similar to when you're in and out of REM sleep which is generally the place you want to be when you're seeking a proper recharge. So let's start by sitting somewhere comfortable, but somewhere with good posture, so you don't affect your breathing or accidentally fall asleep. Once you've gotten yourself situated, close your eyes and open your mind. A common focal point to begin with is your breathing. Basically following along with each inhale and each exhale. Don't worry or concentrate on how fast or slow or heavy or loudly you're breathing. Just let it be as it is and keep your focus on it. The breath is something very easy to come back to when you find yourself lost in thought. Thank you. 
when you realize something has completely distracted you, notice the distraction. Notice the thoughts and refocus on the breath. Ignore the details and just simply refocus. This isn't a practice makes perfect situation, but it will help you recognize how easily you let yourself become consumed by thoughts. Where do those thoughts even come from? You can't think a thought before it's a thought. So how can you manage them? You can manage them by doing what you're doing right now. Doing this practice of noticing and observing the natural flow of your conscious mind. Take a slow, deep breath and hold it in for a few seconds. Open your eyes and exhale. Well, I hope there's something in this recording that helped you better understand or better achieve mindfulness and meditation. Thank you for listening. Until next time.